Hey guys, it's Evan here and welcome back to another video and for today's video I'm going to be giving you guys a first look at my amazing Spider-Man 2 costume created by the Amazing Spider Lab. Alright, so first off, who is the Amazing Spider Lab? Uh, they are actually, it's a group of I believe three, four, five people, I forget the total number, um, that uh, just creates Spider-Man costumes. Um, they fully design them, uh, the, you know, the pattern itself, the face shell, print it all out, put it together, and they create Spider-Man costumes. I believe they started off making the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2 has gotten about as accurate as they can get it. Um, they've also done work on a homecoming costume. They've done a couple different versions of that. They have done some custom suits for people. Um, they've done a really fantastic Raimi suit. Uh, you know, they just, they're working on all kinds of stuff. And I am so happy to own this Amazing Spider-Man 2 costume from them. Um, little bit of history on it. I believe I ordered it about beginning of 2018 was when it first kind of started going into production and then I finally got it in hand late 2018. Um, I believe it was uh, November when I finally got it. Now for this video I'm only going to be giving a quick review and a look at the actual costume itself just laying not on my body. Um, saving putting it on for a future video where we can actually get some really good high quality in-depth looks at it on me. But yeah, with that, um, let's get to showing you guys this thing. Okay, so here are all of the parts all laid out on my bed. Um, you've got the uh, top part, the, you know, the shirt, the gloves, you have the pants and the boots, then you have the mask and the face shell. And as you can see, this costume is a three-part suit. So what winds up happening is this uh, zipper system goes all the way around the belt, um, connects onto there, and then, yeah, you have a two-piece suit, which is actually uh, the same zipper system that the movie suit used. And just giving you guys a nice good look at how, you know, this actual costume looks. You've got the, uh, you know, the, what is it, the pattern printed on there on the reds, and this is, as you can see, colored fabric. You got the blue with the nice screen print here. Uh, the web lines are all puff painted on. I believe they use a, um, they do offer two options, either the uh, puff painted web lines or uh, you can get the urethane uh, webbing that is then glued on. I opted for the puff paint just because even though it's a little less accurate, it actually is a bit more durable and because I'm gonna be using this suit, just makes more sense. You have the front spider here, uh, which is uh, cast and then it's glued onto the suit. Is kind of peeling off at some points. I just need to get some glue, fix that myself. It's going to be a very simple fix. You've got the hands right here with the uh, you know the little palm pad pieces. The hands also have these wrist zipper systems, which I really like because they are actually on the side of the arm rather than under the palm, so they won't actually cause any wrinkling of any sorts. My favorite thing about this, honestly, is the red is actually screen matched to a production piece. So this red is about as accurate as you will ever get on a Amazing Spider-Man 2 costume. Moving over to the pants and the boots, like before, got that, uh, you know, around the waist zipper system. You got the uh, P zippers like this, you know, the movie suit. I probably won't actually use these because what I wear under the costume doesn't really allow for me to, um, you know, go to the bathroom, but it's still a cool little feature to have. Coming down to the boots, the boots are beautiful. They have those beautiful screen accurate soles. Um, you've got also a zipper here for entry. Um, it just makes it easier to get the boot on. The actual shoe that is inside the full thing that gives it its shape, holds its structure, is um, a water boot, I believe. He then, you know, he puts the water boot in um, and then glues on this sole to the costume itself. And then coming around, looking at the back of the costume here, you have the big ol' Amazing Spider-Man 2 back spider. You got a zipper here. Uh, for neck entry, just so you know, you don't have to stretch the costume out when you put your head in. Um, we have this zipper here, just like the movie suit that goes down. This allows you to actually get into the costume. You know, you pull the uh, whole costume on, get the zipper down, and then you zip the whole waist around. Um, this front, this back spider here is actually one of my slight discrepancies with this suit. It doesn't perfectly match the red, um, and then, uh, what is it? It's peeling off a little. Um, I'm gonna fix this myself. You know, this is a non-issue for me. Um, it's just going to take a little bit of work on my end. But hey, you know what? I, if I put a little bit of work into the suit myself, it's no problem. The whole thing's together. And yeah, fixing a back spider will be 
no issue for me. Just got either glue this one down or I might look into another option just for a back spider that kind of closer matches the red. And then last but definitely not least, you have the face shell and the mask and lenses. Now the cool thing about this mask and lenses is the fact that the lenses are actually magnetized right to the mask itself. Then what happens, you put, you uh, take this mask, you're able to put it right onto the face shell, and the everything lines up in place. So to kind of give you guys an eye of how this uh, mask and uh, lens set works, the lens here, as you can see underneath, is magnetized to this thing right here. So, as you can see, uh, kind of a little comparison there, that is uh, the little, um, the solid part that the lens stays on, other lenses right there. You can take this lens right here, which is really, it's beautiful, it's pretty accurate. Um, and then that just magnetizes right on, and there you go. And then what you do once you have those on, you just can kind of take your uh, mask and face shell, you gotta shift it around a little bit, and then everything falls into place. All lines up perfect. It's on there now, it's not moving, and there you go. That is your face shell set magnetized to your, you know, lenses are magnetized to the mask, and the mask is magnetized to the face shell. So you never have to worry about your lenses being misaligned at all, which I think is one of the absolute coolest features they put into this. And I would love to start incorporating this more into my own costumes. I would love if other face shell makers kind of incorporated this into their own. It just saves so much time and stress because one of my biggest things about Spider-Man cosplay is the way your mask and lenses look will make or break your suit 100% of the time. However, talking about this uh, face shell and lens set, there is one little downside about this, uh, this face shell. It doesn't exactly fit me. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take this off, you know, you see the face shell? If I put it on my face, you know, from the front it looks okay, but from the side, you can see there is a whole lot of space here. Uh, this doesn't perfectly fit onto my head like a lot of other facials do. And when I try it on, it kind of makes me look like Spider-Man. And now while this did have me down for a little bit because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to be doing about a face shell, by some miracle, I managed to find a solution to this. That being in the form of my good old trusty T-Jack Amazing Spider-Man 2 shell. So. You take this, I've got my uh, lens here. Now while it does not magnetize directly to the shell, look at that. It pretty much fits perfectly. Imagine that. So while messing around with that, I kind of decided to, you know, try it. What the hell, let's see if this face shell set works with my mask. And this is what we got. The mask fits perfect onto my uh, T-Jack shell. Um, there's a few wrinkles here or there, that's just what you kind of get when it's actually not on my face. Um, but yeah, it just, everything wound up falling into place absolutely perfect. And the thing I love about these lenses, they are uh, fog free, so I'll be able to see out of them. And I am also intending to re-glue the magnets on these, which are the lenses that originally came with this face shell, so they can fit to the magnets. And uh, yeah, then if I want, I can have a nice reflective set to work with this uh, face shell for like photo shoots and stuff. And then I got interrupted by a little phone call, and I lost my train of thought. Thanks, Katie. But yeah, anyways, talking these two again, um, while they are both great face shells, it's a little bit of a shame that this one didn't fit me, but I am glad that I found a solution. Um, we'll probably use this one as my, like, wearing face shell, you know, the one I wear with the costume. And this one, um, probably as a, as a display shell, just because I know the lenses will line up perfectly on it. And then finally, last but not least, these are not by the Amazing Spider Lab, but the web shooters that I'm going to be using. Uh, these have been both created by, uh, it's an artist by the name of Mark Poon. He's on the RPF. You can also find these on eBay. I purchased these off of him from eBay. They are die-cast metal web shooters, and they are absolutely stunning. They're nice. They're heavy, they've got some good weight to them. They've got uh, these four magnets on the bottom. I still have to create the actual, um, you know, the magnet system so I can magnetize them to my wrist and wear them on the suit. But just to kind of give you guys a quick idea of how accurate these are, just look at how good that color matches. Like, I couldn't have asked for anything better or more accurate on this suit. But anyways, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. Um, let's see if actually, uh, one last thing, get a little bit of extra light in here. You can see how this thing reflects in the light. This thing is just like the movie costume, honestly. It like it reflects in all sorts of different lighting colors, and I cannot wait to get a cool photo shoot in to get some good video of me wearing this costume out in action. I think it's going to be absolutely 
amazing. And of course, a huge shout out to the Amazing Spider Lab team. Um, I would not have this costume if it wasn't for them. Um, I don't think I could have ever put together anything as perfect or as accurate myself with my own resources. So again, thank you to all of them for this. And if you guys are interested in checking out The Amazing Spider Lab, if you just want to see what they've created or you're interested in ordering a suit of your own, links for their Facebook, Instagram, I believe they have a YouTube channel now, all of those links are down in the description below. Please check them out, give them some love and support. They are one of the best teams out there and I can't wait to see them do more and create more awesome, awesome suits. And as always, if you like this video, remember to comment down below, thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already to see more content. Uh, cannot wait to get part two of this video out to get you guys seeing me, you know, once I have all my little repairs and fixes done, get this thing out, get me wearing it. That video should hopefully be done at latest by the end of this month because I do have WonderCon at the end of this month and I'm wearing this suit for it. So I gotta get my ass in gear and actually get everything done for this costume. Anyway, Anyways guys, that's it. Remember to stay frosty and I'll see you all in the next video.